to have you. Welcome. It is the Joe Pag Show. All over the place on the radio, also on NewsmaxTV.com. Um, this is kind of, you know, I hesitate to say it's funny, although you have to laugh at some point, and nothing funny about the situation. But we, we talk about the Daily Mail all the time. You know, I make you say where it's from, and it's not the United mm-hmm. Kingdom. It's not the UK. We say... Uh, well, guess who contacted me today? I'm going to say the Daily Mail. And they actually ran a story, you know, about Gabby being it. found, not about her being missing. Yes. I, I think they might have done the missing part, too, um, but about her being found. And I had, just for a second, I, I, had, I had a minute to smile, and I thought about you, which I try not to do, but I, I, thought, of, <laughs> I thought about you for a second. <laughs> My my venerable news anchor and uh, uh, and, and let's just say sidekick whatever, um, sure. Because it just we use stories from them all the time, mm-hmm. and you know we make light of it because of the initials and of what my father said back in the 1970s when somebody called me from the UK, uh, he said who the beep called Uck. So uh, when when the Daily Mail contacted me, I found that to be kind of kind of interesting. Well, um, and I was looking at it, and I was I don't know if it happened yesterday or Sunday that yeah. I saw it. It was just so surreal because we talk right. about it all the time, right. and we get stories from there all the time, and there you are with your daughter. Very, very strange. I mean, it's just, yeah. It was, it was like a nightmare. It was, it, I was not yeah. a dream at all. It was like a nightmare, and I, I don't yeah. want to make the newspaper. The New York Daily News ran the story on Friday. Um, it, it's that. been in, uh, in all sorts of, uh, of news organizations. And again, I can't thank them enough. By the way, locally, you know, Channel 4, Channel 5, Channel 12, especially Ms. Uh, Melissa Vega over at Channel 4, uh, they've been amazing. And, and what I find, and I was a television news anchor slash reporter for a long time, and I, uh, I was a journalist for a long time. I get it, but I'm being contacted by a lot of people who, oh, let's do a follow-up, let's do an interview, let's do a this. And, mm-hmm. and I have even more compassion now for people who are our victims or families of those who are missing or lost or whatever, um, I have I have more compassion because yeah the media wants it yeah. and they want it now, but there is so much more that has to happen before I'm ready for that um, or my family's ready for that. That you know, and by the way they've been very very nice and understanding, but they're really after hey, how about you come somebody want me to go to a morning show in Cincinnati today on the radio to talk about it? What are they, there's nothing really mm-hmm. much to talk about. And thank God I've got the vehicle, the vessel through which I can talk about it now to the people who count. Um, and then later, I will absolutely... And it's funny, they're, they're using... Um, they're trying to pull up my heartstrings. You know, you could help somebody really? else if, from going through something like this. Wow. And I'm like, you know, now. that's... Again, I get it. And I'm going to help other people. I promise you that. Oh, you guarantee I'm going to pay this forward. But don't, don't, don't try that on me. That, you know, it's... Yeah. That's and I love them all because, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a, it's a, it will be a good segment on their show, uh, whether it's television, radio, newspaper, whatever. But, you know, at some point, give us a chance to breathe and figure out what tomorrow looks like. You know what I mean? Exactly. 1-800-383-9624. By the way, um, people are right about this. This whole love fest between you and me has to stop at some point. <laughs> let's let's be honest. Okay. Nobody, nobody we, wants this. It does need to. Yeah. Need to stop, Some point we need to just it? pull that back. I mean, because Polo's like making a face like he's, you know, enough already. <laughs> okay. I mean, and Polo, I, I feel you, man. I understand. One 9624 Let me go to the phone lines and uh, say thanks so much for waiting, Janice, in New Orleans. Hi, Janice. Hello, Joe. Hey. First, I want to tell you that I love you very much. Of course, you know, as everybody knows, you know, we've never met or anything, not personally, but right. I feel like I know you. Thank you. And you're a good man. And the other day when I heard that, it just broke my heart. I felt for you so much, and I was praying. And you're right about the Internet. The Internet is a good thing, but yeah. it can also yeah. be a bad thing. It really can. Uh, there are bad people on the Internet. And... Um, I don't know if your daughter is listening, but if you are, Gabby, your father's heart was breaking. Your father loves you more than words could ever say. I can't find the words to describe what your father was going through, and everybody was worried about you. I was worried about you, and everyone cares about you, darling. We really do. And I hope that in the long run that, you know, that maybe... There'll be something learned here. Joe, I was a grown woman. I got in a car with someone one time, and I thought we were going to go three blocks. 
Well, without getting into detail, and everything did turn out all right in the long run, but we did go further than three blocks. Yeah. So things can happen. They really can. And I just want you to know that I love you. Thank you. And in, and in so far as the people who were doing the things, sending you the messages and, and saying they have your daughter and all this sort of thing, yeah. this is how I see life. God sees and Jesus they know everything. They see it all. And they will be taken care of in God's way and God's time. And God bless you, Jim. I'm with you. Th- hey, hey, Janice, thank you so much. We love you right back. Um, yeah, I mean, those people, honestly, you got very a small amount of my of my brain space that day. And, you know, we were busy. We had to go far and wide to go and get Gabby. We had to take her to the hospital. By the way, those of you in the hospital, I don't want to say the name of the hospital, but those of you there were remarkable. The doctors were remarkable. The um, the nurse was remarkable. And, um, again, there's a long process for the healing to happen. And um, I, I don't know if Gabby's listening. I'll be honest with you. She's with my wife right now. I don't know, I don't know if she's listening. Um, I, at some point, and we're not there yet, at some point I want to be able to bring her to the computer and say, Here's what happened when we didn't have you for a few days. Here's the reaction. Here's how big it was. Um, yeah, because you know, through casual conversation, right? I wonder what the cheerleaders thought. It, I don't think you understand. This thing was was immense because of how loved you are, and it's not always easy to, easy to convey that message, but it needs to be conveyed. Um, that Janice, who has never met Gabby, but who's heard her voice and heard her sing and heard me talk about her already feels like she knows her and and in many ways she does um we appreciate your kind words really do when we come back and uh, we'll continue on radio thank you so much for tuning on uh turning tuning on newsmax tv and newsmax tv.com we'll be back tomorrow same time same place when we continue on radio now and uh and we'll do that you can go and pick it up on your radio station or we'll move over to social media as well um we'll talk a little bit more about this i do want to get into some issues some other things. Uh, we will, in the, in the days to come, have attorneys general on, have governors on, have people who are experts in, in this trafficking of young lives um, and, and, and trying to stamp it out. We'll do that. We'll continue on this path, but we have other stuff to talk about as well. Uh, 1-800-383-9624. Stay here.